Tom von German Rhymes TV. Heute sind wir hier mit Slug from Minneapolis and uh, half part of Atmosphere. And hey Slug, how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Thank you. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fine, yeah. <laughs> Thanks too. Uh, yeah, the cameraman is... The uh, cameraman's doing good. He almost fell. Yeah, uh, like the last time. <laughs> He's making the, the, the viewers uh, seasick again. You will see. Uh, yeah, uh, how was the first show in Iceland? Uh, in Reykjavik, very good. You liked it? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. We've played there a few times, and every time it's a really good party. Uh, which time is it now? Like, which uh, time in Germany here? I think, I think this might be my fourth or fifth time in Germany. So, how do you like it in Germany so far? No, I, I like it here a lot, actually. It's... Uh, It's a lot of fun. The kids here seem to really support, you know, independent music, yeah. you know, underground hip hop and hardcore and things of that nature. I see. Um, yeah, let's talk about the, the LP, the new one. Um, how was it uh, working under Warner with the new uh, LP? Like, because uh, uh, Warner has got the big deal and stuff, and um, are they pushing your uh, LP really good? Or uh, well, you know, we don't, we don't, we didn't really do a deal with Warner. We just did a distribution deal with them for the whole record label. So it's not like. Uh, If I was an artist that was signed to Warner, I would yeah. have videos and a big push, you know, lots of money spent on marketing and ads. And It's not really like that. It's more like uh, we tell them how many copies they can press up and then they make sure to make them okay. available to the stores. But uh, is it a benefit somehow, at least? Or? Definitely, just because there's, you know, back in the day, we, were, we, we would only be able to get our records into independent stores. And also, yeah. we had a really hard time getting our records overseas uh -huh. in, into, like, Germany. Yeah. So now with Warner, we have, you know, a lot more access to get our records into the, to the larger chain stores. It's helpful for us because we play, when we tour, we play a lot of small towns. But in some of these small towns, they don't even have real record stores. They only have department stores that sell yeah. washing machines and CDs, you know. So the <laughs> yeah. kids can't really even buy the CD in their own city, you know. Uh, I see. So now with Warner, we're able to kind of... Fix and, yeah, that. and how's it like with uh, the video rotation, as you mentioned before? Like, because uh, I heard uh, MTV is playing your stuff now, and uh, how's that? MTV 2 played our stuff a little bit, but uh, I never got to see it because I don't have cable. <laughs> I so see. I don't. I don't really know how. Okay. You know how? I, I think people see it, but I, I guess I. I don't really know. Well, it's like. Uh, Did you see the video? Uh, we don't have MTV 2 so uh, <laughs> we can't even watch it. Watch out, buddy. You want to turn this way, buddy? Um. Yeah, but like uh, when like when it's on MTV, like uh, people buy more records, or is it like a difference to uh, earlier LPs you put out? Well, this record sold a lot more in the immediate release yeah. than any record I've ever done. So I'm not sure if uh, if that's because of MTV or if it's because we're getting more popular through touring, or you know, I think it's like all the different parts to what we do yeah. combine to make it you know to make the album do better I see um, I heard uh, you had listening parties before the album because of the leaks or all the albums and other artists yeah we came like, here how come you didn't come to the party I don't know I didn't hear of it yeah we had what a big, happened we had a huge party here and it was a lot of fun we, we brought when was it it's February February I see and we gave free alcohol to all of the pretty female journalists you know was, I see so I wouldn't get any that's fucked up well no <laughs> we'd have given you some All right. <laughs> Just a little. Yeah, I see. And how did it turn out in the States? Um, in the States, the, the listening parties turned out really well, too. Yeah, I see. Um, yeah, uh, you, you got a, a lot of band material on the, on the LP, like a live band and stuff. Uh, how's that, like working uh, with other... Does it taste shitty? No, nah, it's really good, actually. I see. That's why you spit it on the street. <laughs> I was just pouring out a little bit for my homies. Oh, that's, that's, yeah. that's just what I wanted to ask. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, but don't you have to put it on a curb? Or is it not I like that? This I gangster don't. stereotype thing? I'm turn this way. Yeah. I don't really know the rules. Because okay. I'm not a gangster. I see. I, so I tend to do it wrong. Yeah, so uh, back to the live band. Uh, how was it working with the live band in the studio and stuff? Because like, uh, you have a lot of uh, other artists on there. I mean, it was a lot of fun, you know, but we didn't really know what we were doing because we'd never done it like that before. Yeah. So it was kind of, it was a learning experience, you know, we had, it took a long time for us to learn it because, we, you know, we didn't know what we were doing. But I, I'm glad we did it like that because I think we did learn a lot from it. That's good. Um, how about the, the web episodes? Who, who made those beats? Was it all and production or is it just? Those, are, those beats actually were from the album. 
I see, I see. Because I, I just uh, could listen to a little bit of it because uh, we didn't get a copy yet. So uh, you didn't have a copy of the album yet? No. Oh, I'll give you one when we go back to the. Oh, that's good. Because <laughs> I was, because uh, I thought uh, I wasn't sure what to expect from the album because um, I d didn't hear a lot of you before because I just listened from time to time. Some friends showed me some stuff, but uh, I expected something different. But I'm, uh, I think it's better than I expected. Oh, thank you. Okay, um, let's talk about the the sad clown stuff. Like, uh, what how, what was the intention about that? Being like, which which issue is now the the spring issue? Um, or somewhere. The spring issue came out, and then number yeah. 13 was a DVD that that came yeah, like, with the album. Well, what was the intention to make so many different uh, uh, EPs? Well, when we started making the sad clown thing, it was just a thing where we would make these CDs and then sell them on tour. Yeah. So that we could afford to buy a gas. <laughs> I see. You know, maybe a hotel room or two. Uh -huh. Um, but as we got more popular, we didn't need to make the sad clowns in order to buy the gas to buy food. So we just kept making them as kind of like novelty items. I see. And the seasonal ones, it was the same thing. It was novelty items that we made just to kind of, just to kind of get our, our buzz going before uh -huh. the record came out. I think we're done though. I don't think we're going to make any more sad clowns. Okay, I see. Um, about the tour, uh, it the tour, kind of what kind of looks like a tour stop for you, because uh, you uh, you said like in the web episodes and stuff that you are uh, like to drink, uh, look at f uh, like good looking girls and stuff, and uh, and then you got Ali who's uh, just as uh, who's, who's a Muslim who just doesn't drink and doesn't want to get involved with <laughs> too many girls. So how, how does the tour stop look then when you two are together? Oh, I mean we're all adults and so it works pretty well. You know, it, it, honestly. I don't really chase girls anymore either. <laughs> I I have a I have a full time girlfriend now, so Oh I see. And I don't even drink that much anymore either. I just smoke a lot of weed. Oh I see. <laughs> so you stopped all that. Um did you get the socks for the tour? Yeah. You did? I don't know if we got any today. We'll see. <laughs> okay, uh maybe when I get home later I'll bring you some. <laughs> so, I, like, uh, I like socks with stripes at the top. Alright, I got I got those. Yeah. I got those. We're gonna yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, uh, what do you miss most on this tour yet? When I'm on tour, what do I miss most? Yeah. I mean, I miss my... I have two cats. I miss them. I miss my girlfriend. Um, I miss my son. Uh-huh. I miss my bed. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Um, your son, how old is he now? He's 14. He's 14. What's his favorite artist? I guess probably Green Day. Green Day? Mm -hmm. So, he's more into the rock kind of type or is he he's just the, he's in the rock and hip hop for hip hop uh -huh. you know he likes me and he likes Ali and he likes the people that he's friends with because he gets yeah. to meet a lot of my friends you know yeah. uh, Merce Merce is one of his favorites <laughs> I guess yeah but uh he also you know he has his own life uh -huh. so he doesn't want to be exactly like me so he's a, he's a little bit more into punk rock than I am uh -huh. but he likes a lot of, of the more popular type of stuff watch out buddy watch out buddy <laughs> there you go um, how was it for you working on the rock song like back in uh, 201 or what, when it was? A rock song? Uh, didn't you work like with a rock band together or something? I, I think I read that. Well, I mean, in like uh, 94. I see. I did, but that was for like two months. But and, uh, but uh, you were signed on this rock label, but uh, um, why didn't oh, you just... Epitaph. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we weren't signed to them. We just did distribution I for, see. Oh, for oh, one this record. Oh, distribution too. Just ah, for, I just see. Just for that I see. Seven's Travels record. 